In the year 1969, the tanker Manhattan completed the first commercial transit of the Northwest Passage from east to west, escorted by Canadian Coast Guard icebreakers. To prevent pollution of Arctic waters nearby to the mainland and islands of the Canadian Arctic, Canada introduced the Arctic Waters Pollution Prevention Act, AWPPA, in the year 1970. In the early 1970s, Dome Petroleum carried out exploration drilling in the Mackenzie Delta region of the Canadian Beaufort Sea. In 1978, Canada introduced the Arctic Shipping Pollution Prevention Regulations, ASPPR, under which navigation in coastal waters within Canadian jurisdiction north of latitude 60 degrees north is governed. In 1980s, Gulf Canada Resources had improved drilling performance substantially in its Canadian Beaufort Sea project with the measurement while drilling interpretation techniques. Alaskan Prudhoe Bay production facilities came online in the 1990s and its North Slope oil production peaked at 2 million barrels per day at that time. Motor tanker Ukyu was the first western tanker in 1997 to complete transit of the northern sea route with ice load measurements taken during the voyage. In December 2002, IMO published the guidelines for ships operating in Arctic ice-covered waters with intention to address the additional provisions which needed to be considered beyond existing requirements of the SOLAS Convention. In 2007, the cruise ship Explorer sank near the South Shetland Islands, Antarctic area, after hitting a submerged iceberg. 150 passengers were evacuated. No lives were lost. In 2008, IACS published the Unified Requirements for Polar Class Ships, known as IACS Polar Rules, applicable to ships which are steel-constructed with intention for an independent navigation in ice-filled polar waters. The Beluga Fraternity completed a commercial transit through the Northern Sea Route in 2009 from Ulsan, South Korea, to Vladivostok, Russia. In 2009, IMO published the guidelines for ships operating in polar waters. The intention was to address those additional provisions which needed to be considered beyond existing requirements of SOLAS and MARPOL conventions. In 2009, IMO initiated development of a mandatory polar code. Shell commenced exploration drilling in the Chuchki Sea, offshore Alaska, in 2012. The Chuchki Sea Shelf includes the easternmost part of the continental shelf of Russia and the westernmost part of the continental shelf of the United States. In 2013, Russia established the administration of the Northern Sea Route, NSRA, and new NSR navigation rules to organize navigation facilities in the Northern Sea Route water area. An ice-strengthened bulk carrier, the Nordic Orion, completed a historic eastbound transit of the Northwest Passage through Canada's Arctic waters in 2013, heralding a new era of commercial activity in the Arctic. Fifteen ICE-class Arctic LNG carriers were ordered for Yamal LNG project in 2014, designed to operate year-round from the Yamal Peninsula and break ice up to 2.5 meters thick. In 2014, IMO adopted safety measures for ships operating in polar waters, which is the safety part of the Polar Code and SOLAS amendments. In 2014, Motor vessel Nunavik completed a westbound transit of the Northwest Passage to be one of the first commercial vessels to transit unescorted with an Arctic cargo. IMO adopted the environmental requirements of the Polar Code and associated MARPOL amendments in 2015, along with amendments to MARPOL related to tanks for oil residues. IMO Polar Code entered into force for new ships on the 1st of January 2017. IMO Polar Code entered into force for existing ships on the 1st of January 2018.